Hey guys, it's Anissa. Welcome back to Shenanigans. Today, I am reviewing the Grinch Collection by China Glaze. Look at all of these stunning colors. Let's just jump right into it. The first is Grinch Worthy, a vivid green glitter. I really liked this color, but this polish was a little odd for me. As you can see right here, it goes kind of stringy, which I have never had with a brand new bottle of nail polish before. I did my best trying to apply it, and I ended up shaking the crap out of it. And it eventually went a little bit smoother, but this nail in particular was stringy and sticky, and I felt like I needed to add polish thinner to it. Maybe I just got an older bottle of the collection, but I just bought these at Ulta like two days before I filmed this video. And I'm not gonna lie, it looks like boogers. This nail is after I shook the ever-living crap out of this polish. You can see that it's a little bit smoother, going on a little bit better. I'm not sure what the deal was, but frankly, it was not a great start. On all of my nails, I started off with a peel-off base coat since I was going to be swatching so many colors. And on every nail, I did two coats without a top coat. The second coat of Grinchworthy went on a little bit smoother than the first coat, but it is still a little bit thick, a little bit sticky, a little bit stringy. I don't know, man. That was seriously strange. I really like this color, so I may just fight through it and keep using it. And I haven't seen any other swatches on any other channels that looked like mine. I'm thinking I just got a bad bottle. And here are two coats of Grinchworthy with no top coat. And I seriously love this. I'm not generally a green polish fan, but this is festive as can be. And next up is a multicolor glitter called Resting Grinch Face, which that name is life. As with other multi-glitters, this is a little bit sparse when first applied, but it can be built up gradually, or you can do the trick where you use a makeup sponge to sponge it on and get full glitter opacity that way. I really liked this polish, and it would look great on its own or as a top coat. And here is two coats of Resting Grinch Face with no top coat. I love this polish. It's like confetti on my nails. It's a party on my nails and everyone's invited. But in real life, you're not invited. Don't come to my house. Don't make it weird. Up next, we have Ho Ho No. This is a rich crimson glitter with specks of gold glitter in it. And oh, crap. Look at how sheer it is. But just you wait until the second coat. I think we'll all be surprised. To be honest, the first coat almost looked pink. And Houston, we have full opacity. And here are two coats of Ho Ho No with no top coat. It's breathtaking. Next up is a shimmering fuchsia called Who Wonder. This glided on surprisingly smoothly. Even though it's a little bit sheer on the first coat, two coats brought it into dang near opaque. Yeah, I'm a total fidget. Someone walked in the room while I was painting my nails, and so I turned my head to look at them and dropped a big old glob of nail polish right on my nail. Then I attempted to fix it. I'm a fixer. Boom, perfect. The second coat also went on effortlessly and brought the nail to full opacity of a beautiful fuchsia color. And here are two coats of Who Wonder with no top coat. Up 
Up next is a beautiful deep eggplant color called You're a Mean One. Yes, I realize that the footage is blurry, but I was not going to go back and refilm it, so I only included one little part of it so you could see it going on. It's a beautiful deep eggplant with a little bit of a gold shift, and I really liked it. And two coats gave us complete opacity. Next is a blue-gray glitter called Deliciously Wicked that honestly, it just really screams Snow Queen to me. Unlike just a glitter top coat, the base polish in Deliciously Wicked is actually tinted blue-gray. So you get the color as well as the glitter. As always, you can go ahead and sponge it on if you want more opacity quicker with the glitter. But I found that two coats gave me a nice effect and I really enjoyed it. And here are two coats of Deliciously Wicked with no top coat. Elsa would be proud. Next is an icy iridescent pearl color called Lukewarm Wishes. This polish is pretty sheer and I'm not sure that even three coats would make it completely opaque, but it depends on what kind of effect you're going for. I thought it had a nice ratio of shimmer to it and I think it would look really cool over a basic creme polish. For me, it is so satisfying and soothing to see polish be smoothed on and spread evenly. I just love it and I can watch it for hours. And here are two coats of Lukewarm Wishes with no top coat. And finally, we have a festive gold glitter called Merry Whatever. The first coat of Merry Whatever went on fairly sheer, but that's pretty typical for a glitter polish. You can always sponge it on if you don't want to do more than one coat and get more glitter opacity that way. I liked the way that this applied so much and the way that it looked that I actually applied it to both of my hands and wore it for several days after this video. It's just a good, solid, beautiful, sparkly, majestic gold color and everyone needs one of those in their collection. And here is two coats of Merry Whatever with no top coat. Well guys, that's it for me. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more shenanigans with nails. I'll see you next time.